Greetings everyone and welcome back to Kaiserreich. I'm Mr. Mocha Lover and we're still playing as the good old Ottoman Empire. So let's choose another national focus, shall we? So we've got a couple things here. We could join the Reich's Pact, which there was a comment from yesterday saying that we should. I'm a little apprehensive to do so just because fighting on a two-front war, we do have a border with them. But do I really want to join the Reich's Pact right now? What I really want to do though is go to war with Bulgaria, and I would like to take out a Vienna. I would like to do that quite a bit. If we were to get involved against a third international, well, I think that would just be a bit too crazy, especially fighting the Union of Socialist American States. I don't know if that would be very good for us. So, I'm not really sure if we should or not, because I just don't see Germany winning here. It's a bit too one-sided for us, but regardless, united against imperialism? Let's create maybe our own faction, actually, that would not be too bad. Interventionism in the Middle East? Oh, we get limited conscription, actually. That's not bad. We actually probably use that. Let's do that one. Carved up by British hawks and Arab warlords, our subjects on the Arab Peninsula have long been drifting apart from us and have established their own spheres of influence, running counter to our interests. As it befalls the Caliph of Al Islam, however, it is our duty to protect the safety of the Muslim people and free them from foreign, non Turkish meddling. And we've got 203 political power. Don't mind if we do. What can we throw around here? So, we've got quite a few commas to go through. And more things, well, actually, quite a few things to actually research, too, so. Interruption speed, plus 10% defense. It's not bad, but, hmm. We did send some volunteers. Actually, supply consumption, that actually would probably be best. For this, military and civilian construction speed, that's probably what we want to do. We do get eight more steel there, because we could actually really, really use steel. Refining construction speed, oil, that's not bad, either. Fuel silos, plus 20% infrastructure speed, which is okay. I want to get some more civilian and military factory construction speed. That'll definitely help us out here. So, a couple of comments. Someone suggests I should play as Speer in Germany, as or in Germany, in TNO. So, we could. We could do that. I will eventually. I promise you that. Uh, one of the other comments was, start making some heavy tanks, because we can use all the chromium. So, let's go ahead and do that, too. Let's start getting some heavy tanks going. Let's see. Play as a Grand Duchy Lithuania in Kaiserreich. That seems like a tall order. Oh, my goodness. That seems a bit crazy. Yeah, actually, where are our divisions? We've sent them over here to just kind of hold the line, just kind of hang out, have a good time. Every time I send soldiers over, there's nowhere for them to really defend. I'm mean, over here. It's still a giant mess. And the Ukrainians are barely holding out against these guys. Like, they're, they're not doing that great. But, regardless. Let's see, someone says I should join the Reich's Pact? Yeah, like I said earlier, mm, I don't know, man. I don't know. The Reich's Pact? We'll see how they do. As long as they can, if they can beat the Russians, then I'll definitely join. But if not, eh, maybe not. Because France is coming back quite strong. So, it is what it is. Still keep building more things, which is good. Someone suggests I should play as Albania in Kaiserreich. That's a bit crazy, I'll say. That's a bit crazy. Can we actually help you attack here? No, 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 no. We are not winning. That is not ideal. Oh my goodness, guys. Please stop attacking. Please stop. Please clap, but please stop. Could you actually win down here, though? Maybe? 71? 70? How many divisions are actually attacking? Oh, my goodness. Someone says I should build some oil refineries. Yeah, I should probably should. I probably should. That'd probably be a good thing. Yeah. We'll probably need to do that. We will probably, actually. If anything, maybe we should get a puppet. Maybe How about, how about another puppet? Let's at least go to war with somebody. At least someone here. Let's go to war with someone. Ethiopia, I think, is a mighty addition to our faction. Or the future faction that we, will, that we will create. Let's see. We definitely need more soldiers, though. Oof. Someone, like I said, someone suggested we should play in Albania. Play as Albania. Play as the Ottomans in the Great War Redux mod. I haven't thought about that. Yeah, maybe. We might do that. That sounds actually kind of like a lot of fun. I do need to play as them. Ooh, and you guys. Since you guys are down here. Y'all might as well help out down here, too, then. See what you can do. Do we have any air bases in Khartoum with our puppet of Sudan? No garrison support. Okay, then. Request license production. Oh, we good, then. Yeah, we got to build ourselves up more. Oh, we can't even... We can't build up? Okay. Okay, what whatever. You're my puppet, though, right? They are my puppet, but I cannot build on them. Why? That doesn't make any sense. What the heck? Oh, well, whatever. Got enough house support for whatever we wanted to. Uh, let's see, what else? Other comments. Take more land. Well, by going to war with Ethiopia, that is my goal. I would like to take more land. 
You look like you actually might be able to win here, maybe. But they don't have air superiority, which is really, really hurting them. Really quite hurting them. Oh, actually, are we fighting? Uh, no, there's those guys. If we led the attacks, could we win? Probably not. It's still green, and our strength keeps going down. So just keep holding, guys. Do the best you can. You got thumbs up from me as you're slowly losing Finland. Oh, good lord. Two million. Cool. Oh, intervene in the Arab War of Unification? Well, oh well, it's gone. As well as reintegrate these guys, which is fine as well. And then interventionism in the Middle East. Secure the Persian Gulf. Get a war goal against Muscat. Restore the Vilayet of Najd. Najd. Ooh, incorporate coastal emirates. It's not bad. But even though they, we already have the Trucial states, and we don't own it, so that'd be kind of a waste. Yeah, this would be kind of a waste. Secure the Persian Gulf. That doesn't seem like it's really worth it. Reorganize the realm might be good, though. We do get more daily political power gain. And, ooh, stability. Disables a loosened tax burden state interaction. Uh, unlocks the crushed corruption. So let's do that one. I like the political power. Our vigorous desire to reform and adapt the left huge scars on the administrative structure of the realm as positions, mandates, and offices were most often not granted to the most deserving or adept, but rather to those whose favor we needed the most. Now that the state has been sufficiently safe from foreign threats, however, the time has come for a large-scale cleanup that will purge the empire of its corrupt underbelly. Cool. So we can't do that anymore, so we better do that quickly to lower taxes wherever we can. Now, so here, we can't lower taxes. Gosh darn it. It's still very low. Oh, actually, go ahead and do that. Nice. No resistance. I love no resistance. We still got some stuff here, and of course in Serenica. Serenica. High. Very high. There's nothing we can do here, really. Actually, how much political power do we get today? One? That's not bad. High. Yeah, there's really not much we can do around here. Kind of suckerinos, but whatever. Should be able to go to Oh, there we go. Very low. No resistance, please. No resistance. None there. Very low. This will, doesn't really do much for us, but we'll do it anyways, because we can. Alright, we should be able to go to war with these guys. I'm not planning a, a lot of great things coming out of this war against Ethiopia, but... I, would, I just want to go to war, man. It's been it's been too long. It's been too long since I've done this. Let's see. Other comments. Take more land. Oil. Refineries. Good stuff. Now, do you guys have any allies? That's probably a good question to ask. we got about a week left before we do this. Develop Eretria. Actually. Yeah, I'll release them as a puppet. Just one big old puppet. I think that'd be good. Guys, please. I, I don't I don't mind helping you. I really do want to help you, but for the love of God, please stop attacking oh willy-nilly German Germany. Come on. Please. Please. And the reason another reason why I don't want to get involved in the war is just because America is going to join them in the third international. And who's going to stand up to America? Canada can't do that. Mexico, I think, is in the third international. Oh, they basically will join the third international. Operational destruction, that's not bad. We can keep doing that, but I'm going to wait for more air XP first. Let's go and grab some of this. Fuel storage, that'd be good. And they have Russia, America, France, the Union of Britain, Italy. I mean, my goodness, there's so many nations that are in the Third International, or want to join the Third International. That's redonkulous. Just nuts. Just absolutely nuts. I'm not sure why we would, we would, why would we want to do that, but that's just me. So all y'all, go ahead and do this. I actually like you guys right there, too, so. Alright, well... Sorry, Germany. Sorry, man. Actually, if anything, if Germany does lose, we might just go to war with Bulgaria so we can take out the Bulgarians. Could you guys... Oh. Mm -hmm. Not a bad idea. Maybe take out the Bulgarians. Could you guys actually... Oh, yeah, you could. Do we have any planes? Are they busy? Can we call them over for maybe a party? We'll call it a party. Yeah, it's a party. Arm neutralities. Oh. Wait, no, arm neutrality. Oh, we lost that uh, probably 1% population bonus. Yeah, we did. Plus 10% division on core ter territory. It's fine, whatever. We're going to lose that anyway, but we're going to get that. Actually, you should have got that back. We're on limited conscription. We need to go to extensive conscription, so. We can't do that because we need more war support. Oh, good lord. Are we bombing stuff? Huh. Alright, well, whatever. Good luck with that. It's going down there, too. Uh, since they're injured, you might as well attack them again. There you go. How are the horses doing? Well, all come together. Thank you very much. You guys can up out. And then you guys can up out as well. And then you guys can up out as well. We need more puppets for us. For ourselves. Beat them up. Have a good time. Have some air superiority. 
They're dying a lot. Get some stuff from our puppets, from some more motorized. That'd be good. Oh, we're not even making any motorized. We need so much more equipment. Oh, my goodness. You can lower that by five if you really want to. Ooh, yeah. We need so many resources. Oh, my goodness. This is ridiculous. Actually, does this place have any... Uh, steel? They don't have enough steel for me to justify taking it from them, so... Persia? Well, we gotta get your steel. Yeah. There goes Denmark. That's not good. Where are you guys at? Muscat? We might just go to war with them anyways. Oh, they're guaranteed by us. At this point, I mean, you might as well be my puppet. You might as well. This is probably a bad idea, but don't do that. I think we should do okay here. We should. Especially if we have air superiority. Sierra Leone's gone. Goodbye, Sierra Leone. Come on, guys. You got this. You got this. Any convoys? Yes, sir. Ethiopia's got to have a lot of manpower, right? Yeah, they got plenty of manpower. That's good. That's what I'm really doing this for. More manpower. War propaganda. Ah, oh, that's not actually bad to get. Oh, there goes Finland. Ooh, boy. And please get this up for us. That'd be good. Oh, and the soldiers are back home. Cool. The muscat is next. These guys should be very easy to take out. And we'll, we'll just pop at them. Like, I'm not even going to annex them. So far, we've lost about 4,000 versus 15,000. Not bad. Very good, very good. And our focus should be done relatively soon, in a few days. In a few weeks, really. Gondar. Where's the capital? Adidas Abba. Addis Abba. Very good, very good, very good. Slowly dying away. Getting more army XP, which is nice. Even if I retreated from these guys, I mean, they're still not going to do great. I mean, coming to France, you've got to be out of manpower. You've got to be. Out. How are they not out of manpower on all the third? I guess. They, how, mm, that's why I don't want to join them. They have no manpower on scraping the barrel. Yeah, and this universe. I think just in this one specifically, just because sometimes I see Germany win and actually do really well. It's just too oppressive, man. It's just too oppressive. So I want to get through the focus tree as much as possible and take what we can from various different places. So. You just go right there. You can cut them off, guys. Come on. Oh, there goes them. Good job, guys. And if you can take the capital, that'd be great. Infrastructure's killing us right now. Not bueno. Not bueno at all. Hey, fuel storage. Not bad. 43. Let's grab some of this. No, you gotta take the capital. You got to get the capital right now. You guys go this way, too. The capital is the most important thing you can get right now. Ooh, you probably won't win doing that. Excavation 5, Night Vision, Fuel Game for Oil, just in case for the future, and then get some more of this. Yes, please. Okay, we're keeping them there in place. And you're going to help attack here. Because these five divisions have got to go. As well as this division. There you go. But the biggest issue we have right now is just infrastructure, supply. It's not very good. And fighting in the mountains is not very good. I feel like it, the Italians right now, not very good. Uh, they should do a relatively okay. As long as, take the, as long as we take the capital, we should be okay. Yeah, Germany. Hmm. I'd love to help you, man, but that's just too many enemies for us to take. And I don't understand why, like, the United States of Greater Austria did not get involved. Like, wh why are you just sitting there, man? Literally, if Germany dies, they will probably come for you next, man. But hey, if, if you want to watch them die, I guess go right ahead, Austria. <laughs> it's your funeral. Hopefully they don't get involved with us. Yeah, please. Please don't get involved with us. Just leave us be, please. You can help put them... Keep, oh my goodness, you're not doing that. No. You can keep throwing divisions in, but we're forcing an attack. And I know it's not good to do this, but... At this point, you kind of have to. There we go. We got the capital. Boom. Reorganize the realm. Great. I'm just going to pop at them. Nice, Ottoman Empire. Very good, very good. 
Anything else around here? Got some starfish. Oh, 310, not bad. Let's go ahead and you guys are next. But after this, there you go. Maybe uh, these folks, these fine Somali folks. Something like that, supply wise. Eh, 5 out of 10 isn't terrible. And we get a little bit more political power. Not a lot more, but a little bit more. Private land ownership. Populous economics. Military factory construction speed does go up. That's not bad. Stability on the Arab Peninsula. Should buy, invite these guys to the thingy. Oil shipping routes. Bound the Association of Muslim Nations. I, I kind of like that. Afghanistan. To invite way more people into our group. We get a... Oh, I mean, technically, we don't have to attack Somalia now. We get them, or we can invite them. Allies. Reintegrate the Imamate. Aid in Yemen. Yes, is here. Reintegrate these guys. That actually would probably be pretty good to do. Let's do that one then. Reintegrate the Vilayet of Tripolitania. Consisting of three distinct regions, the Regency of Tripolitania has been at the side of the Sultan ever since 1551. Despite its age, the government of Constantia didn't interfere much in its local affairs as its poverty made it too expensive to embark on costly military campaigns to quell the local tribes. With the importance of the western flank rising and the threat posed by a remaining Senussi III real, the time has come to rein Libya back in and we get 0.99 a day. That's not worth it. That's just not worth it. I'm gonna go for Oman. Eh, stuff is not bad. I like the civilian stuff, but the Ottoman Renaissance? Well, we didn't get any more political power. Gosh darn it. That sucks. Cool. We're just gonna make you our ally. That's all. That's all we wanna do. Just make you our ally. That's all we wanna do. There we go. Somalia. I mean, we could keep them under us, but. I mean, we could invite them later on, but I don't know about that. No, oh, Germany's claims. Oh, Sweden has Africa's claims on them. That's fine, whatever. Where'd you guys? You guys are already moving. That's good. And we still own that tip. Pretty good. Hey, we got 5% social liberal support. Fate of Ethiopia. You can go and do this. Create Ethiopian Eritrea. Uh, after a long, successful campaign in Ethiopia, we now have the task of establishing new administrative authority in order to restore peace. However, there are several options for our choice. Weekend Ethiopia. Just get one big old Ethiopia. I think that would be okay. And we don't need to garrison it and waste manpower doing so. Welcome back, Ethiopia. Hope you had a good little nap. Boom, boom, boom. Very good. I just Abba, led by Selassie. Thank you. 50,000 manpower. Nice. And you are back. So you celebrate Eid. Very cool, very cool. I'll probably just pop with these guys as well, so that's fine with me. After them, Somalia, of course. I keep taking more of Africa. Maybe. Yeah, look at Germany is still still on the retreat. If that's the case, I'm probably just going to go to war with Bulgaria, because they're in the Reich's Pact. But at the same time, if Germany's going to lose anyways, we might as well get Bulgaria, right? Right? How long would it take? 40, oh, that's not bad, 45 days. We don't have enough army soldiers there. Army soldiers? Divisions. What are we missing besides steel? Motorized. So much motorized and light tanks. And guns. So, my goodness. My goodness. Ethiopia? Yes, please. We gotta get more steel. Getting lowered by one is not gonna do much, though, for us. We're gonna. We got. Why can't we go to close economy, man? We have war economy? Oh, man. Could raise a conscription of the Legos, Muscat. There we go. Thank you very much for playing, Muscat. With you guys here, we're just going to probably defend the entire time against these guys, so. We might as well go to war with them. I'm sorry that we aren't joining the Reich's Pact. It's just. Everyone can see the writing on the wall. If the Austrians don't get involved, even if they do, there's not really much they can do. Alright, Japan's gone to war. Well, you and your Brent, I don't really want to support you too much, but we got to get a buttload of steel, like, yesterday. We needed this yesterday, man. But at least we can make stuff now. That's super important. Alright, more divisions. Don't mind if we do. There you go. Ooh, a submarino. Nice. Like a submarine sandwich. Oh, crap. Infrastructure? Really? Really, man? 
Oh boy. Well, I'm taking you guys out then. There's just too much stuff here. Actually, you guys can stay right there then. Maybe. Maybe we can get your booty. Hey, maybe we can get, grab that. That wouldn't be bad, right? We like your booty. Actually, if that's the case. Hmm. You guys are still suffering. Why are you suffering from supply issues? It's not that bad. These guys aren't even 40 combat with. Bad supply. How? What is uh, limiting us? Let's see. Previous bottleneck infrastructure in Khartoum. Well, that sucks. You know what? So be it. Whatever. You're going to come back up north anyways. Come on over to... Anatolia. There we go. Oh, wow. Wow. Empire of Japan does not like commies, or syndicalists, or totalists, or anything like that. If we do this, do they attack us? Do we attack them? It's going to be kind of the stalemate here for a while. I thought we could do well right there. You guys head on down here, because you're slightly closer. There we go. So if we could try to attack right here, can we do win? Uh, guys, oh, come on, Ethiopia. Silly Ethiopia, you're making us look bad. Well, we might be able to push a little bit, maybe. We got some air superiority, we got some militia divisions. Attacking in the mountains kind of sucks, but whatever. And it's time to raise conscription level again. Extensive conscription, thank you. And then we can probably go to war economy once we have enough uh, war support. There we go, not too bad. That's, good. That's looking better. Man, no matter when you play the Ottoman Empire, it always seems like you're playing catch-up in the, in the end of the game. It really kind of sucks, I'll be honest. I do, have, man, I do have enemy divisions down there. Man, what, why is supply so bad down here? These guys aren't even 40 combat with... Uh, I would like to throw this on there, but that hurts our weight even... That doesn't hurt us that weight that much more, but that gives you plus 42 per more. Soft attack. Jesus Christ, that looks so good. If we did that, how much would we we'd be out? Minus 559, huh? Send one guy over here so we can spread out a little bit more. Could you guys attack here and win? Yeah, you probably could, actually, without too much extra assistance needed. Very, very good. Where else? Anywhere else, maybe? Maybe not? I'd guess, yeah. Oh, we're getting attacked ourselves, huh? We lost a... Th oh, that's actually a lot. A few guys. It's quite a few guys we've lost already. Eleven and a half thousand. How many people do we get a month? Two thousand? That's not great. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Could you guys actually win here, maybe? Yes, that'd be very bueno. Very, very bueno. After that, you guys are going to go right there. There you go. Hey. Looking better already. Nice. Looking better already. No, I don't want to say we can do just a general attack yet, but... So we're not. But still. Uh-oh. Well, yeah, yeah, they're slowly losing even more and more and more. Unless they're not so much, but on their uh, western front, much more. Hargesia? Hargesia. Hargesia, maybe. Good. Alright, guys, come on, get over there. Yay. <laughs> cool. Let's grab the next one. Still building, still building. Looking a little better, actually. Cool. And can we do this? We can do that once. Oh, hold on. We gotta do that one, but that's always false. Oh, no. We can't come down here then. Are you kidding me, man? Oh, come on. So basically, we can't do this because we don't have Mehmed Sabahadin. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. No, 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 no. Well, we'll get through as much as we possibly can. You know, uh, that's not bad. Abolish the Vilayet of Yerevan. When Armenia was conquered, trouble on the ground and continued guerrilla attacks made control over this far-flung province tricky in an attempt to pacify the population and ensure they didn't pose a threat to our flank. A series of military governors were installed to maintain order. Now that the empire has taken a decisively different course, however, Armenian autonomy groups have been pushing for the introduction of provincial assemblies. But do they deserve provincial assemblies? That's a real question. Eh, not too bad, actually, over there. Yeah, as some of you guys said in yesterday's video, I don't know why like we became a democracy. Like, I like I totally understand. Actually, I do understand why, but it doesn't make sense in the case of we were doing so well down one path and then it just completely flips to something else. 
they should have just like I don't know I had some other options I don't think it was really cool that the way that this was set up but that's just me that's just me let's keep mobilizing though that'd be good Nevada good 29,000 have been lost not bad not bad what the heck there you go keep going guys Oh, Fate of Oman. I forgot about these guys. Yeah, that's right. Uh, liberate them. And we could keep them under us, but we don't have cores on their land, so there'd be no point doing so. Wow, that is a really white flag. Ibrahim Ibn Mustafa. Good luck, guys. And yes, please. Yes. They don't have much, but I'll take whatever I can get. No world booze. That'd be a lot of manpower. All right. It's time for you guys to do something else. You guys are almost there. That's nice. Send half you guys here. Send half you guys here. You should be able to do that pretty easily. If we do a general attack, could we win? Could we even win with more strength? Maybe. Set and forget. Let's go. Infrastructure is looking a little better. We still have our tanks here. Oh, and you guys too. Well, you guys are okay. Head on over here. How much longer do we have with Bulgaria? We don't have anything. Well, 25 days now. Oh, yeah. These guys are definitely making a comeback. They're pushing it. the Ukrainians back a little bit more. All I want out of that war is Bulgaria. That's all I want. Just Bulgaria. Just a simple Balkan nation. Just a wee bit of a Bulgaria. Just a little bit. Berger, can you give us some goodies? Do you got any goodies for us? No? Okay. Not doing too bad. We've lost... As long as we lose less than 10,000, I think we'll... I think that's pretty good. We've done pretty well against Somalis, and again, they are Somalis, so... That's kind of like, what do you expect? War propaganda? Might as well grab that. We could use, we could really use some more, more support for this. Go and head down there. That'd be nice. Yeah, we kind of see what they're up to now. What the divisions are up to. Not bad. 5,000 losses versus 54,000. Not bad. Oh, that's not looking good, though. Yeah, guys. You're, you're kind of crazy. Oh, Mogadishu is the capital, so we need to take that. So, Come on. Oh, We already saw someone doing this already, so go ahead and put them in their place. Cut them off. Kill them off. You know, the good stuff. The good stuff. Ottoman Empire is looking pretty good, though. Crucial states. You probably won't give me anything, will you? No, you won't. Why would you? Bulgaria, though... We've got quite a few divisions, quite a bit of manpower. It'd be nice to have them under us and use them as their puppet divisions. And the reason why I haven't actually... Hey, Somalia, thank you. I'll be honest, can you just give them this? Because you do have claims on some of the territory, so... I guess, yeah, let's see. Ooh, well... Screw it, I'll take in someone's back then. I'll just make Somalia. Because, okay, what the heck? Like, we saw earlier, they I guess they had a claim on this. Darn it. Whatever. It is what it is. Ooh, Kyuku land. Um, I'm gonna have some extra guys stationed around here, around the coast, just in case, like, the Bulgarians want to do stuff. Port Said's pretty important to keep. You guys are pretty important to keep as well. And tanks, and it's good to keep them in the capital, too. And let's go ahead and release. Uh, one nation. Yeah. Somalia. Oh, it's not here yet. Well, we'll get it soon enough. There we go. Somalia. Hello, yo, Somalia. Why not? Might as well, right? Alright, so who has the most manpower right now? Because we gotta use and abuse them. Ethiopia. I'm knocking. Yes, that's pretty good. Somalia. Uh, I love Ethiopia. That's not bad. Do we have anything better? You guys are okay. I don't really use anti-tank too much. That's actually not, You know what? That's not too bad. Two? Well, that's even better. Three? How about four? Oh, four. Don't mind if we do four. Um, we, I would like logistics. Can we duplicate that? That'd be so good. I'm not gonna cop... That cost that much. What the heck? Oh, yeah. Just copy. There we go. That's why. For some reason, I thought something else the other day. For another mod. Cool. Support sure, That'd be good. Not bad. Let's see, we still have some of this. We could use rocket artillery, so that's 42 south attack compared to 47.6. 18 defense, 
This actually gives you less defense, less piercing, 18 defense, 2.1 more HP. This actually gives you the same amount of HP, 0.27 recovery, 0.27 recovery. I mean, they're very, very similar. I don't want to lose too much more defense. Breakthrough. That's actually more breakthrough, actually. Huh. Well, throw it in there anyways, because you can actually combat with the app. Would that really hurt us that much? Not really. Screw it, we're making these guys 40 combat with. Boom. Oh, wrong one. There you go. Boom. 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 There we go. Thank goodness for puppets. Thank goodness. And we can do the same thing with Somalia. Even though we can't do them nearly as much. No, uh, you can't copy that one. Uh, how about this one? Well, we can do that one, I guess. That's it. You guys have some rocket artillery. Ooh. And engineers. That's pretty much all we can do for that one. That's fine, too. Only two at a time, though. There we go. Get you back. We gotta save our own manpower. Our manpower is precious. Using our public manpower is priceless, though. Happy 1944, everyone, though. Hope you're having a great year. Move you to the bottom, because we gotta build more factories up. Really, more civilian factories, so we can trade away for more stuff. Hey, look, minus 30, not bad. Minus 30 steel. That's a lot better than before. Then again, I mean, we are taking everything we can from our puppets. <laughs> and Germany. Who is still holding on. I mean, I'm not saying they're, they're gonna give up, but I'm just saying that... They're not looking so good. No manpower. Too much manpower. Too much manpower. Burgos? I'm so sorry, guys. I, I, I don't want to go to war with the Germans, but I want Bulgaria. I think we deserve, or at least need, Bulgaria here. So we can do that. We can do that, too. I think that'd be okay to do. And before we do that, let's get our planes back. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do we have any extra planes? Not really, no. Um, well, there's no one on the line. Besides that one cavalry division. We must do what we must. Yes, I'll accept that. Because this opens up the Donau Adria boon for open to attack, so. I don't want to go to war with you, Germany, but you should have kicked out Bulgaria out of the faction. Oh, I forgot about this, too. Um, Ethiopia. You have divisions down here. Don't mind if we take them. You can be led by a dude. Doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter right now. Cool. All right, well... I really do not want to do this, but it had to be done. It had to be. And they only have four divisions over there. I mean, what am I supposed to do? Not take out Bulgaria? I want them as a puppet under us. I think that'd be a great addition to the Ottoman Empire. That's a lot of enemies. But with the way things are going... Oh, oh crap, I forgot about Azerbaijan. That's true, I forgot about these guys too. I'm not worried. Then we can get the oil fields. Nice. Now, are we at war with these guys? No. No, we're not. You guys, no, we're not as well. Because we're not in, actually in the Germanese faction. Which is a good thing. Let's grab some of this. Happy 1944. 4, 4, 4. Yeah, I would like Vienna under us. I think that'd be pretty good. Alright, so, so I'm not sensing a lot of things here. Why don't you guys come up there and up here? See what you can find. Yeah, even the Entente's not going to be strong enough. I just hope that the uh, Third International does not come for us either. Now, that wouldn't be very good. And Sophia's ours. Great! Now, you guys should, these guys should capitulate soon enough, but we'll see what happens. Get to Skopje. However you pronounce that. Good. The problem isn't military factories. We got we don't have enough, technically, but it's enough for our, the amount of resources that we have. And we should really be making some chromium. But that requires steel as well, so... 
What are we going to do about that? Cool. They have, are gone. Oh, yeah. And if I do that, then these people just want to give me, like, resources? Yeah. Why not? Let me take them. One sec. Let they go. Thank you, Bulgaria. Thank you. Now, I really don't want to deal with the resistance around here, but whatever. Oh, they're actually doing Brazil as well. Reintegrate these people. Well, I don't think we own this this many places. We'll do it anyways. Oh, we annex them. Oh, yeah, we do. We annex them. Cool. Although working in relation with the Imanat, Imanat was founded just before the Valkyrie, it seems that the ambitions of Yaya ya ya were too great for this world, and with his betrayal during the Levantine War, he has shown his true colors. Therefore, it has become clear that the Imanat can no longer exist as a separate entity within the Ottoman Empire, and that it should be replaced by a series of provincial assemblies as to cater to its Sunni, Zaidi, and Jewish populations. Cool. United Front Forms. In the, oh, the Chinese. The Chinese United Front Forms. Cool. Uh, I'll be honest, guys. Should I use console commands for this? Because it seems like we can't do this just because this was supposed to be done, like, earlier on in the campaign. Like, with the Ottomans in, like, 38 or 39 or something like that. Should I use console commands to just pass through this national spirit or this focus? Please let me know in the comments below because I don't think there's, there's nothing we can really do about this. So, yeah. Oh, what is this? Dismantled state monopolies. I mean, you'll get that through this. So let me know in the comments. Should I do that? Because there's actually there's a lot of support for, for this campaign. So I might as well ask you guys. That's fine. Another good Yeah, we love it. We love it. Oh, you guys are attacking us like crazy over here, huh? Oh, oh, you're oh you're attacking. Oh, why are you attacking like that? No, hold on. Hold the phone. Don't attack like crazy. Be calm. Be cool. Collected. I could send everyone over here. Oh, and you guys you did a great job. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing, guys. Uh, we'll take it from here. There we go. Baku. Who's not giving us the goods? Persia. Persia. My own Persia. Steel's not looking too bad, though. More infantry. Thank you very much. And for you guys, I'm just going to guard against you guys. Because I don't trust these guys at all. Actually... You're all in the pack, but the border stops down here. But you have one big old border with both Serbia and Romania, so I don't understand that. And we got some more research that we could do. I apologize for the lag. And 44. We're doing this stuff, which is pretty good. We got some of this, because we will be using it. Upgrade 30% more soft attack. Gosh darn. That's a lot more soft attack. Technically, we are at war with them, so war economy? Don't mind if we do. But once we got to get enough political power. In which we do. Beautiful. Ah, look at that. Keep building, 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 building. We could use a nuclear reactor too, but build that there. One, two. Buckle my shoe. That looks pretty good. I don't mind actually making some more infrastructure as well, because that just makes us move faster, and that, I think that's pretty good to do. Uh, you guys still getting attacked. How many men have we lost? Probably, i uh, say 20,000 maybe? No. Oh, only 9,000. That's not bad. That's really not bad. I mean, look at that. Why would I join the Reichspact? They've lost roughly 19 billion in the German Empire alone. Oh my goodness, that's insane. Oh, the Brazilians have lost over a million. The, the, the Dutch have lost 2.2 million. The Ukrainians have lost three and a half. The Poles have lost 2.2. I mean, that's just nuts. I mean, don't get us wrong. The Third International's lost a lot of guys, too. But it seems like no matter what France does, they keep pushing out more divisions somehow, some way, which seems a bit OP. But hey, you know what? Maybe I should play France again sometime. It's been a very long time since I've actually played Third International's. Uh, Third International Commune of France. It's been a very, very long time. Oh, I don't even see that. No one needs to see that right now. Come on, guys. I should probably disable that. Uh, sure. That's fine. But the commune of Hawaii wants a non-aggression pact. Guys, I, I don't think Hawaii's going to really bother us. Do we really need to do that? Yeah, we do. Why not? But yeah, in the next episode, we'll probably go to war with the Austrians. The Germans are going to probably give up. Eventually. Now, the front here is kind of stalled, but... Let's be realistic. The... Almost all the action is on the Western Front. And Paris is about to get encircled and destroyed once again. So, yeah. And the Japan the Japanese are doing a great job. Especially in India. Chinese United Front looking pretty sad, not going to lie. But, hey, maybe they'll do okay. Sierra Leone, why not? How much manpower do these guys have? Oh, okay. Japan is strong. I have not played Japan in here. Oh, my goodness. You only have 13,000 manpower? Come on, guys. I'll put over here, Khartoum. That's still a lot. We'll love it. They have nine divisions. That's totally fine with me. Give control of state. Start lend lease. 
They love us as they should love us. Now, I should probably focus a little bit more on this area here. I'll be honest, I probably should. That's a lot of lag. They're probably releasing India as a, maybe a whole puppet or maybe three separate puppets. Yep, hey, I was correct. India, welcome back, India. You have a lot of resistance down here. Muhammad Ali Jinnah. Oh, and the co prosperity sphere. Hey, Oman. Wait. Ooh, what? Hold on. I'm sorry, but no. You're my puppet. I We, we took him out this episode, right? I'm already going crazy. I'm sorry, but that's not going to be... No. No. I, I, I got to re-annex them and liberate them again. I'm, I'm pretty sure we annexed them, right? Like, And I liberated them. You're, you're done, Oman. You're done. Like, what? How did they break free of my rule? I, I literally want you as a puppet. Maybe I clicked something wrong there, maybe? I don't know. How strong are these guys? Azerbaijan. They got plenty of manpower for forever. Which means this is going to be quite the struggle to take these guys out. But hey, they wanted war, so... Don't blame me. I just wanted Bulgaria. You guys wanted to defend your allies. Or something like that. But hey, they're going to melt against us. Not bad. Just got to keep an eye out for any sort of possible invasion. And at this, they already have Paris back. Look at that. That's so sad. Mom, um, if you want to attack there, don't mind if we attack you in the booty. Guys, I'm not in your war anymore. I'm not. I'm not joining you. Uh, let's see. We probably take Tabriz, maybe. Ooh, reintegrate the Imonat. Cool. Very, very good. Anything else over here? United against imperialism. Let's go and create our own faction for now. As long as as there was no united front against imperialists, one by one the proud Muslim states fell to the claws of European colonialism. As we, as the predominant Muslim power of the world and the center of the Sunni faith, should see it as our duty to assist our brethren of the faith, protect them and ensure that the spirit of the Ummah has not yet been extinguished. No, no, no. Oh, we actually are really close to there. The villager in the comment, today a villager from Aksare, claimed he saw a lightning ball crash on his farmland. Instantly killing one of his sheep. Fear took a hold of the man when the capsule opened, and a man ex exited clad in an alien uniform. Thinking he was a hostile enemy, he charged at the man with a walking stick, knocked unconscious by the intruder. The villager woke a few hours later without any trace of the man left. Semiyet e Hunie thinks it's a sign of extraterrestrial life, while Vakf e Folio argues it's a secret military project. A most peculiar story. What the heck? I've never seen that ever happen before. Whoa, that's kind of cool. Let's make some convoys. We could probably use them. It's fine. I want to attack here. Ooh, ooh, nice. I like that. We're doing that as well, which is good. Support company's looking not too bad either. Let's grab some of this. Hard attack and piercing. Don't mind if we do. All right, attacking here is going to be a really bad idea, but we got the Persians here helping us out, so we should be okay, right? Get some support attack. Ooh, can you help out? Ah, you know, these Azerbaijani guys don't seem that tough. I mean, if you look at it like that, when you put them all together, then yeah, they're kind of tough, but still. No needle invasions. It's good. This is a giant mess, but... Mm. Mm -hmm. Synthetic oil is great. Let's grab some... Do we need rubber? We can use a spot of rubber. Oil is more than fine for now, but let's get some rubber. And build more refinery soon, too. Yeah, let's go and build more of this, too. That'd be good. Uh, you can do that area and then that area. And then boom it right there, and then... Good. Fuel refining, not bad. Naval doctrine, air doctrine. Let's keep doing some more air doctrine stuff. That'd be probably pretty important to do. I wonder if we can actually defeat Azerbaijan by the end of this episode. It might be possible. It might be possible. It might not be. You know what? Let's try it. Force the attack. This is probably going to go end very badly for us. Where are you guys at? You are against Romania, if I remember correctly. Orders from Somalia. Occupy. Oh, that sucks. Now we're losing over there. That's not good. Uh, help you guys out. Come on. Ooh, that was probably a really bad idea to force the attack, but whatever. Now, you should be putting a ton... Oh, yeah, help us out. Yeah, why not? Ton of pressure on these guys. 20,000 have been lost. Oh, in total. We lost 27,000 against Azerbaijan. We've killed off a lot of Azerbaijanis. Now, I'm pretty sure it doesn't make any sense why we, the Ottomans, are taking out the Azerbaijanis. But just roll with it, okay? Let's just roll with it. 
And they joined the Reichspact too, so what are we supposed to do about that? Orders are in Ethiopia. So we got Somalia done before Ethiopia. Most peculiar, I would say. And we will release Azerbaijan as a puppet, so don't get me wrong. We will release him as a puppet. Unless I can core them, but I don't think we can, but hey. We'll do the best we can. And we get to Baku. That means they get no oil fields, and we do, which is a great thing. Ooh, military factories? Yeah, just put them over here, that's fine. Baku's gone. Rockets. Very nice. Let's go and grab some of this. Even more soft attack. What do we need next? Oh, this area here. Oh, that's that's pretty bloody, not gonna lie. That's pretty gosh darn bloody. But we should get that, and that war against Azerbaijan should be over. Good lord, we need so much more steel. Wait, why are they not dead? Ganja? Really? We need Ganja? Seriously, guys? Come on, just... How are they not dead yet? Seriously. Look how weak they are. I, oh, we're that's, that's attacking over river probably into mountains. That's probably why. Oh, no duh, Mr. Milk Lover. No duh. Come on, move in, move in, move in. We need you right now. Oh, hey, our divisions are done. Great. United against imperialism. Allies in the Orient. Stability in this. Which one should we do? Do you think it's better to secure the Persian Gulf or stability in the Arab Peninsula? Let me know in the comments below. Allies in the Maghreb. Well, let's see. Yeah, we could probably do that. So, although lost almost a century ago, the various Muslim states of the Maghreb still looked towards Constantia for guidance, paying their respect to the Caliph. Threatened by Europeans in the endless strive for expansion, we should close the ranks and form a strong, united, and most of all, Muslim bloc. Very good. And we have beaten them back. It cost us quite a few guys, but that's why we use Ethiopians and... Here, I'm going to throw you guys over here, actually. Somalis. <sighs> Thank the Lord for the Somalis. And Tamalis. Oof. We've lost about 75,000. I mean, we better get a good payout here. We better get a good payout. Okay, I'd stop attacking them. Please, just kill them off. Please, for the love of God, just kill them off. I mean, we've, we've lost a lot of guys, so don't get me wrong. We've lost a lot of guys. But they've lost over a third of a million. Like, Azerbaijan, give up. Literally give up. You're you're literally done right now. Please. The fall of Havana. Oh, boy. There they go. Finally. Thank goodness. That took too long. But regardless, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow, where Germany is probably going to fall. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.